What's happening y'all? This is Alexander with Guns.com and today we have a Sig Sauer P365 AXG Legion which might just be my new favorite carry gun. So let's check it out. Before we get into the AXG Legion, we have to talk about the P365 in and of itself. This is a micro compact handgun that Sig Sauer released back in 2018, and it was really a trendsetter. It was the first of its kind, maximized capacity while being extremely minimal in its footprint, and uh, you've got 10 rounds of capacity, 9 millimeter in this extremely small package. So small, you could even fit it inside your pocket but after sig released the p365 pretty much every single company started working on a micro compact handgun and in true sig sour nature they expanded on the line and offered a lot of different options so back in 2022 they released the sig sour p365 x macro uh, comp which is what we have here. And it takes the same thin, low footprint style of handgun, a little bit bigger. It's more of a compact handgun, not really a subcompact handgun. But the big thing was you have 17 rounds of capacity as well as a compensated slide. Uh, so it's just easier to keep on target. All their handguns in that line have a optics cut on the slide so you can throw on an optic which is kind of a go-to upgrade for anybody who's getting into pistol shooting, you know, it's hard to throw a rock and not hit a handgun that's not at least optics cut or has an optic on there. You've got great uh, blacked out rear, these kind of subtle rear night sights with a bright green front sight. Uh, but you have this really sick compact handgun which really maximizes the capacity. Oh my God, that is like, that's one of the nicest handguns I've ever shot. Sick. Big fan. Well, much like we've seen with their P320 series, there's a lot of different designs and sub-designs and models that can go with this particular style of handgun. You have that fire control group. You can see the uh, serial number right there. So again, just like the P320 uh, in the early P365, you can change out the grip modules. And with that, SIG decided to release the AXG Legion. AXG basically stands for Alloy X-Series Grip, meaning that you have a metal grip frame instead of a polymer grip frame like we saw in that X-Macro that I was just holding. You get a little more weight with this. You have these really nice textured you know, G10S grips. Uh, you've got the cool Legion gray that they do on all their Legion Series handguns. But I think it's really easy for a lot of people to look at the Legion series, whether it's the P229, 226, 320, or the P365, whatever it is, and just kind of be like, ah, it's kind of cool, but it's more expensive than a lot of the other options. Uh, what, why would I spend money on that? And I'm going to tell you right now, this is maybe one of the best compact handguns that I've ever shot. Um, I love the P365 X Macro for a lot of reasons. One of the big reasons is I love this compensated slide. So it's not necessarily a compensated barrel. You don't have a cut inside of the barrel. The barrel is a 3.1 inch barrel and the slide extends a little bit past that and you have these two compensation cuts that kind of sit in the front. Shooting the X Macro Comp and shooting comped handguns in general. It's flat shooting, it's so easy to get back on target, you feel quick, you feel fast, and you just feel like you have the firearm under better control. So, already love that from the X Macro. Then we move into this P365 AXG Legion, and you have the added weight of that lower grip frame, which is metal instead of polymer along with that compensated cut. I, I mean, it's it's probably one of the softest, flattest shooting nine millimeters, uh, especially in this size category that I've ever gotten to shoot. Oh my 
God, that's nice. It's just impressive. It's got a great trigger in it. Uh, I will say, dry firing the trigger, which we can do right now. One of the things that's stereotypical with X-Series uh, SIGs is they have this kind of flat or this straight trigger. I love flat triggers. I've talked about it before. One of my favorite upgrades. Um, but when you get on this trigger, a little bit of take up, you're right up on a very clear wall. Doesn't take much. It's a good clear break. You have that, you know, weird sounding uh, dry fire. The reset, pretty short. You know, it's not the shortest reset in the world, but you're right back up on the wall. Easy to make that break again. I'm not super into aesthetics. A lot of people are. I mean, everybody wants their gun to look cool, but especially when you're talking about a carry firearm, I want it to perform. Uh, but with that being said, some people love it, and this Legion, or all of the Legion handguns that SIG puts out, they have this cool kind of gray, greenish tone, Cerakote to it. You have the, the Legion logo put into the grips as well as on top of the firearm on the optics plate. Uh, it, it's just a, a cool, slick looking firearm. Uh, but really the only thing I care about is how does it perform? And it performs great. I uh, got to take this out to the range, got a lot of time on it, shot it next to the regular X Macro. And I love the regular X Macro cop. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a great handgun, but it really does have a premium feel to it when you're shooting. Um, and again, if you're just looking at it online, they kind of look similar and you're like, man, do I really want to pay extra money for just a cosmetic difference? It's not just a cosmetic difference. Uh, I'm a big fan of metal frames on handguns. We've gotten away from that with pretty much all the striker fires that are out there these days. I mean, the standard thing is to do polymer. It's inexpensive, everybody kind of does it, but you do see these premium handguns come along that have this style of grip series. Uh, and, and SIG's done it with the P320, now bringing it to the P365. I, the one thing I will say to SIG, I would like to see the AXG grip be available for purchase uh, as just a grip module. So if you do have an X macro comp or an X macro and you want to throw on, get that little bit of extra weight a little bit easier to control, keep the gun down a little bit more, you have that option. Um, as of now, the AXG grip is only available, I believe, I just checked this yesterday, but the AXG grip is only available on the AXG Legion in this series for now. SIG always releases tons and tons of things and I'm sure that's in the works. But nonetheless, premium feeling handgun um, on the range, really easy to get accurate shots, and it's quick, it's fast, it feels like it's very accurate, you can get great follow-up shots, kind of quick and speedy, uh, but I'm a big fan, I'm a big fan. It's not overly heavy, it's not something where, you know, if you're carrying an appendix, if you're carrying on your hip, if you're carrying it in the shield arms junk sack, it's not gonna weigh you down, right? Like, you're not gonna notice that much of a, of a difference in the weight, but, when you handle the, the firearm, you draw, you come up, and when you're making those shots, how that recoil impulse feels, the just controllability in your hand, I really dig the metal frames. And I think that SIG knocked it out of the park with this X Macro Comp P365 Legion. This handgun's a little bit different. It's kind of non-conventional. You know, normally you're looking at a lot of polymers. You don't see a lot of compensated carry guns, but nonetheless, again, I think this is probably one of my favorite compact handguns I've gotten to shoot. This is just one of the many sick, amazing, cool firearms that we have here in our certified used inventory. Be sure to check out the certified used tabs to keep up to date with our inventory here at guns.com. Thank y'all so much for taking a little bit of time. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.